London has sold some of the most expensive apartments in the world. And while one would think that the pandemic would slow down business for the London real estate moguls, it appears that the opposite is the case. In fact, there just happens to have been a sale that trumps all the others in the British capital, and the price tag will have you shaking in your boots. But before we take a look at the most expensive penthouse in London, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications to never miss a new video. Without further ado, let's dive right in. London's real estate scene is among some of the priciest in the world, coming behind only a few choice cities like New York, Hong Kong, and Dubai. The people who are familiar with the British capital and its ways know that the most expensive housing options aren't usually found on agency websites or catalogs and magazines. More often than not, these housing options are advertised and sold off in a hushed manner. Needless to say, in London, top-tier real estate is a matter of if you can afford multi-million dollar apartments, then you're probably not looking through websites, but instead having an agent get the best listings money can buy. A testimony of this is the case of this luxurious high-rise penthouse, which despite its exorbitant price, was bought so fast, only a handful of agencies and publications even knew it was on the market. Located in one of London's most exclusive areas, the Knightsbridge, this penthouse sits atop the ultra-modern One Hyde Park building, and it's no surprise it tops the catalogs as the most expensive penthouse in all of London. Owned by real estate mogul Nick Candy, the price of this penthouse was only known to a few real estate brokers and specific VIP prospective buyers. In the end, only one lucky buyer was able to snatch it up for a whopping $247 million. Just in case you were wondering why this luxurious penthouse started making waves several years after it was built, here's why. It belonged to Nick Candy himself, and it housed him, his wife, and his two daughters for over five years. Coincidentally, One Hyde Park was developed by Nick Candy's brother, Christian Candy, owner of CPC Group in partnership with Water Knights, a company owned by Sheikh Hamad bin Jassam, former prime minister of Qatar. If you're impressed, you should know that there is more. The development of the building was a family affair, as the interior designs were done by Candy & Candy, a design firm owned by the two brothers. Now let's get to the penthouse itself. This high-end penthouse is not just another overhyped piece of real estate, but an authentic slice of London heaven that can only be experienced atop the One Hyde Park itself. The penthouse spans over 18,000 square feet of luxurious living space and boasts of a $247 million price tag that translates to about $18,000 per square foot, which is unheard of in the London real estate market. The apartment spreads across the top two stories of the One Hyde Park, and that alone makes it worth the price, but the interior takes credit for the rest. The penthouse not only sits on the top floor of this exclusive building complex, but it also features not one, but two wraparound outdoor terraces. These terraces accord the owner of the apartment unmatched views of London's beautiful Hyde Park. The breathtaking view, which also includes the infamous Kensington Garden, a royal park, and one of London's oldest parks, gives the penthouse an edge over its peers. The apartment features five ultra-modern bedrooms with magnificent queen-size beds, walk-in closets in each room, and end-suite baths fit for kings. Each room comes with luxurious fixtures, from the bathroom walls adorned with marble stones to the glass wall, giving the house's occupants an unparalleled view of the gardens or the London city skyline. The master's bedroom features art pieces spanning almost half the top floor and boasts of beddings furniture, and fixtures sourced from the best vendors money can afford. The master's bedroom bathroom contains both his and hers baths, designed using Nero Marquina marble. To enhance the beauty of this living space, each tub is designed with a contrasting combination of marble floors. On the one hand, the his bathroom is designed with black marble floors and white statara walls. On the other hand, the hers bathroom features a reverse design, giving both baths a yin-yang color combination. Each bathtub is designed with Lalique glass, made by renowned French glassmaker Lalique. The master suite also features an Utrecht of glass panel walls that offer a magnificent view of the parks, as well as a view overlooking the One Hyde Park's reception areas and the London skyline. When you splurge $247 million on an apartment, you don't just get to call the living room a living room, instead it's termed a grand room. The grand room in this state-of-the-art penthouse is a beautiful area for entertaining guests. 
Still, on the topic of entertaining guests, this penthouse is designed to entertain guests in the most exquisite style possible. It features a tall grand wall, clad with a beautiful fresco portraying the London landscape, including a web of paths meeting with the royal parks that lay just outside the building. At the center of this beautiful wall of art stands what can only be described as a feature only a few homes possess, a glass fireplace. Above the grand room hangs a beautiful display of Sarvaski crystals dangling in waves from the ceiling. These crystals cannot simply be categorized as a chandelier, as it's more of a sculpture that lights up the grand room, giving it an ambiance found only in palaces and maybe heaven. The chandelier sculpture is made up of hundreds of single crystals in different lengths, creating an upside-down wave effect over the entire room. The formal dining room is set beautifully with a fantastic table which sits 10 people alongside mirrored glass walls which give a sense of privacy and intimacy during meals with friends, family, and maybe business associates. This dining doesn't only feature tables and chairs for eating and drinking, but it also has a hidden champagne room only residents of this penthouse apartment are privy to. In addition to all this awesomeness, the first floor of the apartment also features a private library, complete with all kinds of books which could be restocked depending on the owner's preference or reading interests. The library could be open to guests and visitors depending on the owner's discretion, but showing off your very own library should come with the flex of owning such an expensive apartment. When it comes to infotainment, residents of this penthouse can opt to not leave the building as the apartment comes with an in-house private cinema that sits 10 with enough space for guests to join in. Nick Candy must have been a wine and champagne enthusiast because a hidden champagne room in the dining area is one thing, but a wine room in a penthouse apartment is not something you see every day. Contrary to popular opinion, this wine room isn't just for storing a few bottles of your favorite wine. In fact, the new owners will have enough storage space to shelve up to 750 bottles of whatever wine they fancy. Who knows? Nick Candy might have left some bottles of vintage wine as a welcome gift to the new owners. Cooking and style is all but guaranteed in the Japanese-style kitchen the apartment comes with. It features some of the best kitchen appliances money can offer, from a state-of-the-art oven to high-end blenders. The Japanese-inspired design gives a confident yet calm ambiance for whoever steps foot into the kitchen, more so for whoever prepares a meal, especially if it's sushi. Keeping fit is important. And for most people, sharing gym equipment in a public gym just doesn't cut it. And lucky for them, the new owners of this penthouse apartment won't have to worry about that, because the penthouse comes with its very own fitness studio. It is fully stocked with gym equipment such as treadmills and different lifts, as well as designated area for floor exercise like yoga and Pilates. Relaxation has never seemed more appealing than the indoor private spa this penthouse offers, complete with staff on standby in Hyde Park, prepared to serve the new owners whenever they need to take the edge off. The spin also comes with a private sauna and steam room, so the owners can sweat out the day's stress without having to leave the apartment. If the spa isn't on the menu for relaxation, then the 21-meter swimming pool on the roof could definitely do the magic. Stretching up to half the length of the entire rooftop, this pool area comes with an accompanying lounge area for relaxing and sunbathing. A dedicated cocktail bar also sits alongside the pool with enough space to have a small get-together or just an event. One can even have an entire roof party. Whatever the new owners want, they definitely have paid enough for it. The rooftop doesn't just have a swimming pool and lounge area, it comes with a fully installed golf simulator. That's right, the owners of this apartment won't have to drive down to a crowded golf club if they don't want to. They can enjoy playing golf right here on their rooftop and it's exclusive to designated members only. No doubt the owners of this apartment will have a slice of luxury cars, and they can be guaranteed of at least a four-car parking space inside the Hyde Park's garage that features security cameras to ensure the car's safety. If you were wondering, this penthouse isn't the only luxurious space on the block. The Hyde Park retail fronts feature high-end stores like McLaren Motors dealership, as well as Rolex stores that happen to be one of the best in Europe. That was a closer look at the most expensive penthouse in London. What was your favorite part? Comment and let us know down below. This has been Lexer Luxury. See you next time. Stay hungry.